Hello and welcome back to Shivananda Yoga Live with Smita. In today's video, I am going to demonstrate a few breathing techniques and the asanas which one can practice while in the office. Before we begin the practice session, let us discuss the need of yoga while at work and the benefits one can derive by practicing yoga every day. Various factors like sitting for long hours in front of the computer, Traveling the phone between the ear and the shoulder, extensive traveling, improper meal times, lack of sleep and various similar factors can pose challenges to health. So a few minutes of yoga every day can really change the quality of your life. Yoga helps improve physical, mental and emotional health. It lowers the stress level and thus it increases the efficiency and productivity at work. In general, yoga helps boost immunity, it increases the energy level, it helps digestion, improves the lung function and it helps lower the stress and relieve insomnia. Let's now move on to the practice session. First, I will guide you on the breathing. Yoga is based on five main principles. Proper exercise that we call as asana practice, proper breathing which we call as pranayama. Then the third one proper relaxation that's shavasana. Then the fourth one proper diet and the fifth one is positive thinking and meditation. Sit up straight everyone. Now put your right hand on the abdomen. As you inhale feel the abdomen expand. And as you exhale, feel the abdomen contract. So inhalation, abdomen becomes big, it extends outwards. And with the exhalation, you contract the abdomen in and exhale the breath. So what is happening? Why is the abdomen moving out with the inhalation and abdomen contracting with the exhalation? There is a muscle called diaphragm which is located under the ribcage, which separates the ribcage from the abdomen. So when you inhale a deep breath, the lungs fully expand and this muscle diaphragm pushes down which pushes the abdomen outwards. So we, most of the times we guide it in this way, ki as a test of deep breathing, your lungs will expand fully, the abdomen should come out. So that is the role of the abdomen to test the deep breath and when you exhale, the abdomen contracts diaphragm moves up and pushes the air out of the lungs through the nose. So what did I say? When you inhale, the abdomen expands. When you exhale, the abdomen contracts. So please try it everyone. Inhale, abdomen expands. Exhale, abdomen contracts. Inhale, abdomen expands, chest expands. Exhale, Abdomen contracts, inhale, exhale. So those who breathe in this way when on the inhalation the abdomen extends outwards, it shows that they are using the full lung capacity. So their breath is very healthy and when the breath is proper, when you take full deep breath, the yogic breath, the state of mind also is different. You have a better relaxed state of mind. So you might have noticed when the mind is agitated, the breath is very rapid. And vice versa is also true. When the breath is rapid, mind is agitated. So breathe mindfully to have a good state of mind, to have a relaxed mind. So when the mind is relaxed, the body is also relaxed. Now let's do a few breathing techniques. This was the deep abdominal breathing that we just now demonstrated. The first breathing technique I show today is Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati is a cleansing kriya. It cleanses the lungs and it's a breathing technique. What happens in Kapalabhati? It is the forceful exhalation of the breath. When you inhale, abdomen expands. When you exhale, the abdomen contracts. The same technique we used in the Kapalabhati practice, but here the exhalations are forceful and inhalations are passive. Exhalations are forceful and the inhalations are passive, which means we do all the work to exhale the breath, whereas 
we do not do any work for the inhalation. So inhale, abdomen expands and how do we do it? Forcefully pull the abdomen in. So what is happening? I inhaled for the first time and then I started exhaling the breath. So while exhaling, I am contracting the abdomen and between two exhalations, one automatic inhalation takes place. So that happens without our knowledge. Exhalation is active, inhalation is passive. So now let's do two rounds of Kapalabhati. So when I give the instructions, I will give the counting 1, 2. After inhaling for the first time, count 1 will be pulling the abdomen in, contracting it in and exhaling the breath. And count 2 will be releasing the abdomen. So let's do the practice. Please sit up straight. Both the hands on your knees in chin mudra. Joining the index and the thumb. Index finger and the thumb. Placing both the hands on the knees. Shoulders are relaxed. Elbows are bent. Now take a deep breath. Inhale. Chest expands. Abdomen expands. Exhale. Contract the abdomen. Now get ready for the first round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 Close your eyes, 
focus at the third eye center. Slowly, gently exhale. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Now we move on to the next breathing technique that's called the alternate nostril breathing or the Anulom Vilom practice. So, this is a pranayam practice. We also call it Nadi Shodhan. So, we have specific mudra to do this practice. Right, left hand we place in the same mudra, the chin mudra, and right hand we place in the Vishnu mudra. So fold the index and the middle finger to the base of the thumb and extend the ring finger and the little finger out. A thumb is also extending out. Now we first I'll demonstrate before you do. Block the right nostril with your right thumb. Through the left we inhale. Block the left nostril with the ring finger. Right exhale, inhale right, block the right nostril with the thumb, left exhale. Now we inhale to the count four, that means in the count four we inhale a deep breath to the full lung capacity and hold the breath to the count 16 and we exhale the breath to the count 8. So the breath which we inhale in four counts, we are exhaling the same breath in the count eight. That shows exhalation is a slow process and we are doing it in double the time of inhalation. So slower you breathe, better is the quality of your life, longer is your lifespan and better is the state of your mind. So let's do this practice first without holding the breath and then we will hold the breath for a few rounds. Get ready with both your hands on the knees, on the thighs if you are sitting on the chair, left hand in the chin mudra and right hand in the Vishnu mudra. Close your eyes, sit up straight, relax the body. Let's take two deep breaths, inhale both the nostrils, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now block the right nostril with the right thumb through the left inhale, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Close the nostril, left nostril with the ring finger, right exhale, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. Inhale right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Close the nostril with the thumb. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils. Relax the body. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils. To the right. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils. This time we hold the breath for eight counts. Keep the body relaxed. Mind focused at the third eye center. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils, hold the breath. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. 
Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently hold. This is the last round. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils, hold the breath. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down. Keep the eyes closed. Both the hands on your thighs in chain mudra. Relax the body. Normal, gentle breathing. This is a wonderful way. Kapalabhati practice strengthens your lungs and clears the sinuses and the entire respiratory tract. It strengthens the abdominal organs. And the Anulom Vilom practice balances the breath in both the nostrils and it balances both the hemispheres of the brain, lowers the stress level. We move on to the third pranayama, third breathing technique that's called Brahmri. That's also a good practice to lower the stress level. Now we, how do we do it? I'll tell you the simplest way first. Both the hands on your knees in the same mudra, the chin mudra. Inhale a deep breath through the nostrils. And while you exhale, you hum the sound of B. That's called the humming B breath. So if you inhale a long breath, the same way the abdomen comes out, extends outwards. And when you exhale the sound of OM through the nostrils, you will exhale to your full lung capacity. What do I mean? You should squeeze the abdomen and exhale the breath completely out. So longer you inhale, longer you exhale. Right? So let's do this. Close your eyes. Inhale a deep breath and begin your practice. Second time, inhale. your ears with the index finger and we'll do this three more times. Inhale. down. Keep your eyes closed. Gentle normal breathing. Feel the gentle vibrations of home in the head and try to absorb these vibrations without resisting relaxation in the body. Gently open your eyes. Now we move on to our physical movements. So let's begin a few exercises for the neck, arms and the shoulders. So first we do the neck exercises. Taking two deep breaths. Inhale. 
Now for the left arm, stretch your left arm forward and turn the palm down towards the floor. Now point the fingers up towards the ceiling, hand towards the face. Hold the left fingers, fingers of the left hand with your right hand and pull the hand towards the body. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Change the hand position upside down. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release your arms down and relax. Now stretch your right arm up. Hold the right wrist with your left hand and pull the right arm more up. Pull it up as much as possible. So the right arm moves a little behind the right ear. Then bend the right elbow and try to bring the hand down towards the left shoulder, the right hand towards the left shoulder. Hold it here and breathe. Slowly release. Now stretch your left arm up and hold the wrist, the left wrist with your right hand. Pull the arm more up, the left arm. And then bend the left elbow, try to touch the left hand to the right shoulder and feel a good stretch in the left side, the shoulder blade, the armpit. And slowly release. Take rest for a breath. Now, Stretch your right arm forward, palm is facing up and bring your left elbow across the right. So what did I do? Stretch the right arm forward at shoulder level. Then bring the left elbow across the right elbow. Once you're here, you entwine your arms and raise the elbows a little up, bringing them in line with the shoulders. So how does it look from the side? So what did I do? I stretched my right arm forward, bring the left elbow across the right and join the arms and if my elbows are close to the chest, I move my elbows away from the chest and bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Keep the head in the center. Breathe here. Five, four, three, two, one and slowly release. Let's do it for the other side. Stretch the left arm forward this time and bring the right elbow across the left. Then entwine your arms and move the elbows away from the chest. Elbows and shoulders are in one line. Hold and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Now we get ready for the Gamukhasana. So one way we can do with the prop or if you are flexible enough we can do it without the prop. So I show it from the side. Stretch your right arm up as you inhale. Bend the right elbow. Try to reach with your right hand to the middle back and from behind bring your left hand to catch hold of the hands. Hold and breathe. Five. Keep the back straight. Abdomen pulled in, chin parallel to the floor. Three, two, one. Slowly release. Now we do it for the other side with the help of a handkerchief. So raise your left arm up as you inhale. Bend the left elbow. From behind, bring your right hand. <coughs> Catch hold of the two edges of the handkerchief. Hold it here very comfortably. There is no tension in the body. Your lungs are open, chest is open. So don't forget to breathe deeply. The left elbow pointing up towards the ceiling. And slowly release. Now, cup your hands and place the fingertips on the shoulders, giving a gentle rotation to the shoulder blades, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So this is the position from where we are starting, inhaling, chest is open, elbows are pointing sideways, exhale, 
bring the elbows to the chest elbows are touching if possible then move the elbows up inhale one more time exhale inhale exhale now we reverse the rotation so inhale open the chest move the shoulders up and elbows up exhale one more time inhale exhale and release now interlock your fingers and stretch your arms away from the body as you inhale stretch your arms up and hold the position keep the abdomen tucked in keep the back straight your elbows are straight and your upper arms are in line with the ears chin is parallel to the floor face is relaxed whole body is relaxed and slowly exhale bring the arms down once again interlock the fingers stretch your arms away from the body inhale raise the arms up now as you exhale bend the body down to the right side keep the elbows straight head in between the upper arms and feel a good stretch in the left side of your body breathe and now release your right hand you can place the right hand on the chair on the thigh right or on the left thigh and stretch the left arm more up hold and breathe do not lift the body up keep looking in front or you can look to the top inhale come up exhale release the arm down now once again interlock the fingers stretch your arms away from the body and raise the arms up as you inhale now as you exhale bend the body down to the left side hold the position and breathe the side base stretch to the body a lateral stretch to the spine feel a good stretch in the right side this time now bring the left arm down you can put it on the chair you can put it on the left thigh or you can place it on the right thigh and give a good stretch to the right side right arm straight entire right side is stretching look in front or look to the top keep breathing inhale slowly come up exhale release the arm down now we do the spinal twist sitting on the chair so how do we do it you can keep sitting like this hold either the right outside of the right knee with your left hand or you can hold one edge of the chair with your left hand and the other arm the other hand holds the backrest and twist your body look to the right side breathe or you can hold the two corners of the chair on the right side and twist your body turn the head also to the right and breathe keep the spine straight and slowly come back now we do it to the other side to this side i'll show you sitting on this side of the chair so if you're sitting to the side of the chair you hold the backrest the two sides of the backrest and twist your body like this so twisting to the left and looking to the left feel a good twist in the waist so this works on deeply to stimulate the abdominal organs and it works laterally on the spine each vertebra in the spinal column <laughs> inhale slowly come up and release relax for a breath now we do the cat cow stretch so place your hands on the knees as you inhale open the chest drop the shoulders back and drop the head back feel a good arch in the back as you exhale round your back tuck the abdomen in bring the chin into the chest one more time 
Inhale, stretch. Open the chest, drop the head back. Exhale, round your back. Bring the chin to the chest, tuck the abdomen towards the spine. Inhale, slowly come up and relax. Now let's work on the lower body. So now we sit to the front edge of the chair and spreading the legs out. Now first we move only the toes, not the feet, only the toes. Move the toes up and down five times. And now move one foot forward and pull the other leg in. So feel it in the ankles when you push, push the foot down. So kneecap is tight when you push the heel out. A couple of times. And now bring the feet back to the center, toes pointing up. Begin to rotate your feet five times in one direction. And then change the direction. Relax. Now, go a little back on the chair. We work on the knees. So, hold the back of the thigh. Hold the back of the thigh and rotate your right leg. So, this works on the knee. We are rotating the leg around the knee joint. So, do this five times in one direction and then change the direction. Release the leg down. Same to repeat on the left side. Hold the back of the left thigh and rotate the left leg. Rotating the leg around the knee joint. And then change. Change the direction. Release. We worked on the feet. We worked on the knees. Now we work on the hip joint. So, hold the leg up in your arm, hands like this. So, the left hand holds the left knee and the right hand holds the right foot. Now, begin to rotate the leg around the hip joint five times and then change the direction. Once you are done, Place the left foot across the right thigh. Hold the left foot with your, so with your right hand. And now rotate the foot. And change the direction. Now once again, raise the leg up. The same leg. And hook the left foot in your right elbow, if possible. And your wrap your left arm around the left knee. Pull it closer to the chest. Try to rock it side to side. And once again, place the left foot on the right thigh. Move a little back on the chair. And now from here, remember this is an intense stretch. So if you are not into any kind of physical routine, please avoid and keep sitting here. Those who can do with me, stretch your body forward and bend down. Hold and breathe. If you like, you can release your arms down and the head is hanging down. And slowly come up. Bring the left knee to the chest and release the left leg down. So we repeat. The, the same thing on the right leg. So first, hook the right foot in the left elbow and hold the right knee with your right hand. And now rotate the leg. You can hook, instead of hooking, you can also hold the foot. Rotate it. You are working on the hip joint. Increasing the flexibility of the hip joint with this rotation a couple of times in both the directions. 
and now place the right foot across the left thigh and hold the left uh, right foot with your left hand start rotating the foot couple of times change the direction and once again lift the leg up the right leg up bring it close to the chest hug it tightly to the chest sit up straight and now start to rock the leg now place the right foot again on the left thigh move a little back on the chair if you like you can stay here just try to push the right knee down towards the floor and if you like to go with me extend your body forward and feel a good stretch in the hip joint the right side you can hang your arms loose head head is hanging loose hold and breathe and slowly come up bring the left knee close to the chest sorry the right knee and release the leg down now the next asana warrior poses warrior we'll do warrior one that's we bhagasan one so use the seat of your uh, chair and straighten your right leg the right foot is turned slightly in so my right leg is straight right foot is turned a little in and and my pelvis is slightly touching down depending on the height of your chair and the left knee is on top of the left ankle right now i turn my upper body also to the left raise my arms up and look up this is be bhagasan one breathe and now open up into the veer bhadrasan 2 that's the warrior pose 2 arms are in one line at shoulder level and you're looking to the right hand so left knee has to be top of the left ankle you're looking to the left hand and slowly release now let's change the side stretching the left leg straight left knee is straight left foot is turned slightly in Watch your right knee. Push the pelvis down. Make your right knee just on top of the right ankle. Turn your upper body also to the right. Now stretch your arms up into the prayer position. Hold and breathe. And now open up into the warrior two, Veer Bhadrasan two. Looking to the right hand. Right knee on top of the right ankle. Breathe. And slowly release. Now, stand up. And hold the back wrist from behind. Now, move a little back and extend your spine forward. Look down. One second, working on the back. Okay, so tuck the abdomen in. Look down and breathe. And now, from here, if you've been doing the practice, any kind of practice, you can do the next step of coming into the warrior three. That's three bhagasan three. Lift one leg up and bring it in line with the body and keep looking down. Tuck the abdomen in, hold it. Release the leg down for the other side. And slowly come down. Sit on the chair, relax your breath, keep your eyes closed for some time, let's take rest for a few breaths. So you can drop the head back, rest on the backrest, legs apart, hands on your thighs, palms upwards, 
Let's take two deep breaths or a couple of breaths here and relax the body completely. Relax the breath. And slowly bring the awareness back to the body. Bring your feet together. And with this, we come to the end of the practice for today. Thank you so much for your patience. I hope you enjoyed the practice.